Do you struggle with chronic pain, fatigue, or conditions like fibromyalgia and wonder if inflammation might be a root cause? Have you ever thought about how what you eat could be making your inflammation work and how anti-inflammatory foods might actually help ease some of your symptoms? Maybe you're wondering if gut inflammation could be contributing to your energy or your pain and what simple diet changes could help you to start feeling better. Well, on this episode today, I'm going to be giving seven tips to reduce inflammation so that you can start feeling better and losing weight and really support your health. And before we get started, I have a flash sale going on right now that I'm excited about. So I have been using Zinzino's products for over a year. I'm an independent partner with them because I really love the high quality products that they have. I use them for me. I also use them for my husband and my kids. And so here is the sale I want you guys to know about. This sale is going to go on till October 20th. And it's really simple. So especially if you have been wanting to work with me, this is the time. So if you order one Zinzino product, you're going to receive my Healthy Inside and Out course for free. This is currently a $397 value. Now, if you order two Zinzino products, you're also going to get that course, but you're also going to get a full month of my personal training app for free, no strings attached. So this is huge, guys. I've never done anything like this before. So I'm really giving you guys the opportunity that if maybe you have been wanting to work with me or maybe you've been wanting to try some of these products out that I've been talking about, this is the time. I've never done something like this before, but I want to give you the opportunity to really start taking your health into your own hands and get the support that you need. So I'm going to put a link down below for a page on my website where you can find out more information about the sale. You can read more about my Healthy Inside and Out course, my personal training app. And so what happens is once you order your Zenzino products, Zenzino emails me. And within 48 hours, I'm going to connect with you via email to get you set up with that healthy inside and out course. And if you've ordered two products to get you set up with my personal training app where you're gonna get custom workouts, you're gonna be able to message me, you're gonna work on habits, you're gonna get the support you need so you can start staying consistent in your health. All right, friends, so take advantage of this, why this sale is here. And also, if you guys have any questions, when you look at that link down below that heads to my website, there's going to be ways to email me or message me on Facebook so you can get those questions answered. Hi, friends, and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four and military wife, and I'm passionate about helping women get healthy from the inside out so they can feel better and live their best life. Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight and get in shape? If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably, then you're in the right place. I combine my expertise from my doctorate in physical therapy to my experience as a health coach, personal trainer, and yoga teacher to bring you actionable steps for a healthy lifestyle. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. All right, so let's dive into this topic today and get into those seven tips to reduce inflammation. So there's really so much that goes into inflammation. There's different areas and the facets and everybody's a little bit different. So number one is really making sure that you have enough omega-3. So I want you guys to visualize a teeter-totter. So on one side of this teeter-totter, we have omega-3s. And also think of these omega-3s like jellyfish. They're soft and pliable. Information can get into and out of the cells. On the other side of the teeter-totter, we have omega-6s. And omega-6s are inflammatory. And we actually need inflammation sometimes. Think of when we're sick or we get a cut and we're bleeding. We need that inflammation. And also those omega-6s tend to be more hard and rigid like bricks. So we have this teeter-totter. And the ratio that brings us into a safe zone is three omega-6s to one omega-3. And so what happens when we have too much omega-6s which is 97% of the people in America, we're out of balance and we have way too much inflammation. Our cells aren't soft and pliable. We can't get information in and out. And this is why omega-3 affects 
every area of our body because it works at a cellular level. It makes our cells more pliable where information can get in and out of the cell that it needs to. So we have to be getting enough omega-3. If you guys are like me, I really don't eat that much fish, especially like salmon is really high in omega-3s, but not all fish are super high in omega-3s. They have it, but there's fish that are sort of like those powerhouses of omega-3s. And if we're not eating enough of those, then we're going to be, that teeter-totter is going to be off and we're going to be in that inflammatory zone. That's where I was. My ratio when I first tested was 37 to 1. I had no idea it would be that bad. I thought because I'm like eating healthy overall. So even though I'm not getting enough omega-3s, like it shouldn't be that bad. It was bad. And I love that Zenzino offers this test-based nutrition where you can actually test, then you supplement, and then you retest again. So you actually know what your body's getting. Our medicine needs to do this for more areas than just omega-3. So really making sure you're getting enough omega-3s. And there's going to be a link down in the description where you can get that test and see if you are in that safe zone or the danger zone. And getting this test in the omega-3 will count towards that sale that I mentioned earlier. All right, so tip number two is to limit or get rid of sugar and alcohol. So both of these tend to be very inflammatory in the bottle. So like with omega-3s, that's adding something in to decrease inflammation, but there's also things that we don't want to do to limit the inflammation from even happening. So reducing or getting rid of sugar and alcohol is one of those. They really tend to put our body in an inflammatory state, especially with sugar. It can also increase feelings like anxiety. It really just wreaks havoc on our body. So tip number three is to limit or get rid of processed food. And this really goes back to the first two because a lot of processed food is going to have sugar in it. And it's also going to have omega-6s, which are those inflammatory omegas. So when we start to reduce get rid of our processed food, we're going to be eating food that is less inflammatory. And in place of that processed food, hopefully putting in more whole food where we're getting more polyphenols and micronutrients in our food that are going to help to decrease that inflammation. So tip number four is to reduce stress. And this is often overlooked and I feel like the science is really starting to discover this mind-body connection. So when we are stressed, it's causing inflammation in our body. Just like maybe in your mind, you've imagined something bad happened that hasn't happened yet. You're worried about something that produces stress in your body. It's increasing your cortisol. You might feel your heart beating faster. So even though these things aren't actually happening, they're creating stress in your body. So this is where it becomes really important to have strategies to work with your mindset to work with your thoughts, to have different tools to lower stress, to maybe be doing yoga or walking, having to balance in your life so you have the time to do these stress-reducing things. I'm currently working on my EFT or tapping certification, and this is a great way to process emotions or thoughts that you are just stuck in. We really need a toolbox of tools to help us with our stress and to help us with our life and our emotions. And we need to have time set aside to work on that or to have that space to do those things that bring us into a better state mentally because it really does affect our body. So tip number five is to get enough sleep. Really, it's recommended anywhere from seven to nine hours a night. And so first we need to make sure that we're allowing for enough time in our schedule to sleep. We don't want to be so busy or staying up late to do something that we're not getting the sleep we need. So we really need to mark off that time. And for anybody who has a little bit harder time falling asleep, that would be me, is making sure that you're having that time before bedtime to really wind down and have those good sleep hygiene habits to do those things that calm you. So for me, that might look like journaling or doing some of that EFT tapping that I was just talking about. It might be deep breathing, meditation, prayer. Really for me, just also having a decent amount of time before bed to wind down. I really need that time to wind down, to let go of my day, to not be overstimulated. 
And of course, there's always some different sleep supplements or herbs that you can do to help with sleep too. So number six is adding an anti-inflammatory spices like ginger and turmeric. And really when we're eating more whole foods in general, we're going to be getting more polyphenols, which are anti-inflammatory. And also sort of going back to that omega-3, we need our cells to be functioning good, having enough omega-3s so nutrients like ginger and turmeric can be absorbed and further help that with that anti-inflammatory. So I also like Zenzino has their Extend Plus, which is the multivitamin plus immune support, but they also put turmeric in there to really further help with decreasing this inflammation. So number seven is to have a healthy gut. So our gut affects so much. It affects our brain, our cells. It affects how different hormones work. And especially when we're having more bad bacteria in our gut because we're not eating healthy or we're stressed too much, that can cause inflammation. So it can be really helpful to have some probiotic foods that do not contain sugar, guys. Look at those labels, especially when it comes to yogurt. Most of the yogurt out there has sugar, so we want to make sure we don't have sugar. You can use things like berries to sweeten that yogurt and also fermented vegetables. Again, check for sugar. And the other thing to really help to have a healthy gut is to have some prebiotic fibers. So the prebiotic fibers are like food for those probiotics or that good gut bacteria. So we want to make sure that we keep feeding those good bacteria in our gut so that they keep growing and multiplying. And so one way to do this is Zenzino has their Zeniobiotic, they call it. So it's prebiotic fibers and they have a blend of eight different fibers. And I tried to look to see if there was another product, you know, by a different company that has a blend like that. And I have not found anything. And so what's important about having this different blend of prebiotic fibers is that the different prebiotic fibers are going to feed different gut bacteria. So think of this good gut bacteria in our stomach. Well, each different gut bacteria in our stomach likes different foods. So that's where those different strands of prebiotic fibers are really going to help flourish all the different good bacteria in your gut. And I was like, anytime you're starting with any type of fiber or this prebiotic fiber is to start small. So, you know, start with a fourth or half a scoop of it and slowly continue to work your way up, just giving your gut a little time to digest because even if it's something good, your gut's like, whoa, like what's going on here? I'm not used to this. So sometimes it's good to start a little bit slower when you're working with fibers, even fiber in your diet. Some people find if they increase the fiber too quickly in their diet, they might get gas and bloating. So even with food, when it comes to fiber, we want to slowly increase that fiber. All right, so I'm gonna say these seven tips aloud. I'm also going to put them in the description. And as I'm reading these, I want you guys to think, what are the top few that I really need to focus on? Because everyone's a little different. Maybe you're... Maybe there's some that you don't need to worry about. So as I read this, really think, what are my top few that I can do that I'm ready to do? Maybe that's easy enough for me to do right now because maybe something like trying to eliminate sugar is just overwhelming right now. So that may not happen for you. Well, which one of these can you start to pick out that would be more doable for you right now? Okay, so number one is increasing the omega-3 and I'll have that link where you can actually test your levels and try out my favorite omega oil. And my favorite flavor is the orange lemon mint, or I also like the grapefruit flavor. Their omega oil tastes so much better than anything else I've had before. And I have my kids take it. And it's also more absorbable. As I was mentioning polyphenols in other spots when we were talking about anti-inflammatory spices, Zenzino adds a high quality olive oil in it. And this olive oil really helps to make sure that the oil doesn't oxidize so that the oil doesn't become become bad tasting and have those like fishy burps or fishy taste. So it's a really high quality oil that I haven't found anything better than this product. So number two was to limit or get rid of sugar or alcohol. 
three is to limit or get rid of processed foods. And notice with both of theirs, limit or get rid of. Like anytime you can do less of something that's not good for you is better. So don't think when it comes to the sugar or processed food, it has to be an all or nothing. If you can start working your way down, that is going to be much better than where you are. Number four was to really start to reduce stress and making sure that you're building that toolbox of tools to help deal with stress and emotions and life as it comes up. I know that I need a big toolbox to help me. So continuing to put that into your time bank each week and allow time for these things. Number five is to get enough sleep. Number six is to add in anti-inflammatory spices like ginger and turmeric. And number seven is to really work on having a healthy gut because that is going to help the inflammation. Gut health rules so much. All right, friends. So make sure that you check the links in the description to take advantage of this awesome flash sale that I'm offering. I probably won't offer something like this again. So if you are really interested in working on your health, And especially if you have been on the fence about working with me through my personal training app, this is the time to try it out and see if it's a good fit for you. So I'm excited to hear from you guys. Hope you guys have a great week and keep on moving.